Hello. Hi. Happy Monday. I guess it's Monday, right? Yeah. Happy Monday. And um. Yeah. So I uh, <clears throat> I've been thinking about that uh, Lopita's the notorious Lopita's second rule. Okay. In humanology called mathematics, it's notorious because I've been using the wrong formula for a very long time. So it. Yeah, it's notorious. Okay. But, so I, I've been thinking about it, okay, and then I realized where I erred. And, um, and I'll share it with you. Okay. So the intuition behind the second L'Hopital's theorem was this. You have the, what, e to the x that goes like that, right? You can barely see this. I I should buy a uh, new set of pens. These pens are handy dandy, but they the lifespan is too short. And then you, you so you have the, you have what e to the x like that, right? And then you have uh, ln x like this, right? This ln x, this e to the x, okay? Ln x grows so slower because so slow because e to the x grows very fast. That was the intuition behind that. So okay, this guy goes grow very fast. This exponential function. That's why ln x is growing very slow. All right, but <clears throat> and if you compare with just y is equal to x, you know. So I thought, okay, the ratio of infinity here, let's say this is infinity point here, okay? This is infinity point, point of infinity, okay? With the ratio of this guy to this guy would be same as ratio of this guy and this guy, okay? But I thought it would be the inverse of well, inverse inverse of ratio between from here to here. No, the, that's never true. Why? Because then I'm calculating, I'm comparing ratio from he, ratio between this guy and this guy, and ratio of this guy and this guy. So that's where I erred. All right, because you know this e to the x is is in itself. It's not symmetric in itself. Okay. So you cannot compare like vertical ratio and horizontal ratio. No, no, of course it's wrong. So that's where I erred, okay? Because that's what I was doing. Because uh, you know, this x length of this x in this two function corresponds to length of length of y in this inverse function, right? And that's what I was doing and. Yeah, it was, it was a mistake, okay? Um, I got ahead of myself. But we found the sec correct second L'Hopital's rule, which is not as simple as our wrong second L'Hopital's rule, which is not a rule anymore. It was a disproved hypothesis. That's what it is, okay? And, but we learned a lesson. Yeah, we explored many good things, and um, yeah, it, uh, <clears throat> so the second, um, we kind of vindicated the second L'Hopital's rule uh, last time. Uh, let's say you're trying to uh, differentiate something like arctangent or arcosine, arcsine, whatever, right? And um, to differentiate those or, or arc hyperbolic sine, you know, cosine hyperbolic inverse, that kind of thing. If you want to differentiate that, because you want to try, you try to use L'Hopital's rule, maybe it's not that simple to differentiate those inverse functions. An inverse function of an inverse function is the 
original function, right? So yeah, to differentiate uh, sine hyperbolic x or just sine x, that's very easy. So if you rather, uh, if there is this function like arc sine, whatever, you don't quite want to differentiate that, but you want to use something like L'Hopital's rule, then, then second L'Hopital's rule will come in handy because you are going to dif differentiate an easier function, which will be inverse function, okay? If inverse function is easier to differentiate, then yeah, second L'Hopital's rule will come in handy, okay? Well, that's that, okay? Let's leave, leave it, leave it. Okay, so let's leave that. All right. Okay. Now, <coughs> um, we are going to uh, get back to this infinity algebra. Okay, because uh, I kind of like the second L'Hopital's rule. By the way, it's fun. Okay, I like it. I like it because it's it's a little bit involved. It's more challenging. Okay, I, I really like it. Okay, it's fun. It's okay. You find an inverse of that function, and then you uh differentiate and then you plug in the original function okay and you switch upstairs downstairs four step process yeah I, I like it I, I think it's okay that we take some pride in that okay uh, I think it's okay yeah let's pride ourselves with that discovering that very unwieldy and unhandy and undandy L'Hopital second rule. All right, so cheers to that. This is good. Oh. Makes my day worthwhile. Oh. All right, we keep doing infinity algebra, all right? So, <coughs> the question is this. Uh, infinity plus one, okay? Should we, is it okay to say this is infinity? Is it okay to absorb this guy? I think it is because no some infinity okay plus minus some constant a all right except absolute infinity because if you use absolute infinity plus minus what about absolute infinity minus absolute infinity would it be zero probably probably it has to be zero because in absolute infinity is a constant okay But anything other than absolute infinity, okay, is absolute infinity, okay? Just like absolute zero multiplied by or divided by some number is equal to absolute zero, true zero. This is A, by the way. I mean, who writes A like this? Yeah, today I'm kind of feeling very good because uh, the weather is very nice. It's, it's like spring and I ran. In the morning, I did exercise, so I feel good today. 
I had nice weekend's rest. Yeah, and also absolute infinity <coughs> divided by absolute infinity, it must be one, okay? Because they are constant, absolute, absolute infinity constant, okay? So. Or is it? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's let's take a look at this guy. All right. Can can you see any of this? Is it too far away? But the thing is, I I want to have some space. Yeah, you can kind of see it, right? Yeah, it's kind of vague and faint, but uh, I I I write in a bigger font. How about that? All right. Now, absolute infinity multiplied by, say, three is equal to absolute infinity multiplied by four. Okay, so here you have also multiplied by and also divided by, okay? It all becomes absolute infinity. It absorbs everything. Okay, because it's the biggest possible number in the universe, the verticality. Okay, and um, so we cannot quite cross these two guys out. So absolute infinity over absolute infinity actually has to be any number, just like zero over zero, any number. Okay. Zero over zero, any any number. Okay, so yeah, no, no, it's not one. It's any number. Zero over zero. Okay, we th that's our notation. Yeah, it sound, looks like percent. That's fine, right? Why? Because we don't put anything in front of that. It's not like one percent or two percent. No, it will be always stand alone. So zero over zero, any number. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can call it undefined number, but we don't like that t that nomenclature. Why? Because we know what it is. It's any number. Okay. But can it be also absolute infinity? Uh, probably not. Well, let's let's take a look at it. Absolute infinity multiplied by absolute infinity. Yeah, it should be absolute infinity, right? Absolute infinity. Okay, so. And then absolute infinity becomes absolute infinity over absolute infinity. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it can be absolute infinity then. Okay. The absolute infinity definition of that is, is uh, one over, I mean, zero, one over zero. That's the definition of absolute infinity. It's kind of catchy definition, you know. Just minus one, I mean, I squared is equal to minus one. That's the definition of imaginary number, right? Yeah, it's kind of catch definition. It's kind of like convention defying, very uh, defiant bold and brave and kind of rebellious kind of uh, we like that stuff yeah it's a catchy definition and because 1 over 0 is equal to 1 2 over 0 3 over 0 is why because 2 over 0 this is equal to 2 over 0, by the way, okay? Because this is equal to what? 1 over 0 times 1 over 2, okay? Because 2 upstairs, it goes downstairs and it inverses. Because it's like uh, denominator of denominator, okay? Denominator of denominator. It's like minus 1 times minus 1 equals plus 1, right? So you do 2 division, it becomes multiplication just like minus minus becomes plus 
Okay? Alright. It works like this only in um, multiplication and division. Nowhere else. Okay? Yeah, these are minus and plus, they are inverse operators. Okay? And um, division operator is inverse operate inverse operator of multiplication what is an operator is a function of two variables two input variables okay and it gives out one output okay so minus is an inverse function of plus and division is an inverse function of multiplication okay so here what we have here is f inverse circle f inverse is equal to f okay it's not always like that but in multiplication and uh audition yeah this is true is is this always is it always true no what is always true is this f inverse circle f this is composite function okay is ix okay it's a identity identity function just like you have e to the x right and so what is what does this mean composite function we didn't quite do this yet have we composite function is this i, I make sure this is included in the screen f composite g is a brand new function of x is equal to f of g of x okay so that's what composite function is okay so this guy you have e to the x right what's this inverse yeah ln x is equal to x which is identity function okay same thing the other way ln e to the x is equal to x okay yeah so you so you put jocks you uh, do juxtapose this composite to inverse function it always becomes uh, identity function which is y is equal to x just just like what is inverse function of x x squared I mean x to the n Yes, n is the n root to x, right? And you inverse function of that, yeah. To the nth power is equal to x n, and you you take square uh, n's root of that. Okay, this also become all x. Okay, so this is always correct, no matter what function it may be, no matter what operator it may be, but f inverse composite with f another f inverse it becomes f that's only this always only holds true in in um uh division and subtraction because and also multiplication and multiplication does not become division okay so plus plus does not become um minus okay so it's uh it's a very very special case all right it works only in division and subtraction okay By the way, this is, what's hidden here is uh, multiplication, okay? Multiplication, your positive multiply by positive, okay? Negative multiply by negative and division multiply by division, okay? What is this? It's like one over A. One over A, we can, you know, we are doing a lot Sorry, uh, so we have to 
keep erasing, okay? One over A multiplied by one over B, okay? You can say, you can, you can come up with a brand new notation here. You can call this as a division A multiplied by um, division B. Okay? Which is equal to uh, div division A multiplied by B. So, in a way, this division symbol, I mean, division sign is distributive. Okay? See what I'm saying? Just like, if this is analogous to, um, minus a plus minus b is equal to minus 1 times a plus b so minus 1 this sign it kind of distributes right so division works the exact same way you, you can think of division as a unary operator because what is minus a is it zero minus a? What is zero? It's an identity number in terms of addition and subtraction. Okay? Now, what is division a? It's one divided by a. What is one? It's an identity number for uh, division and multiplication. So it's exactly analogous. This world of Multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction, it works exactly the same way, okay? So, I guess this is some of the topics that this field theory, group theory, ring theory deal with, but I don't like the way they are doing it. Group theory, thi ring theory, field theory, I don't like the way they, they are doing it. So, I don't want to learn those abstract algebras. I want to create my own. See, I'm a, I'm lazy. At the same time, I'm very rebellious. I'm very liberal in that sense. I don't like establishment. Okay, I, I want to rebel. <laughs> okay. In that sense, I'm not conservative at all. I'm very liberal in that sense, all right? And uh, at the same time, I'm very lazy. So I, I don't want to learn all those abstract algebra, this ring theory, group theory, field theory. I try to learn it. I try to learn it, but oh my goodness, this is too much. Oh, and I, I, I didn't quite like the way they did it. Okay, so I think I can do better. All right. It's just like psychology. You know, I took one psychology, introductory psychology class, and I aced it. I was on top of the class of this big student body of like 400 people. I was on top, number one. So yeah, I was great. I kind of enjoyed learning that introductory psychology class, but I wasn't satisfied. Economics class. Yeah, I, I got A, okay? Microeconomics. I took one economics class, microeconomics. But yeah, I got an A, all right? Yeah, I kind of liked it, okay? But I wasn't satisfied with what they did. Okay? So yeah. I don't want to learn group theory. Maybe one day, okay, if I have time, but life is short, I'd rather create brand new algebra. Why? Because it's more fun to create something new than learning something other people created. <laughs> I'd rather create something new rather than learn something other people have created, okay? I'm 40 years old. I think I'm of age to create something, okay? I'm done learning, really. It's time for me to create something and teach, okay? 
By the way, this is not pink. It's bloody red. It's this camera and lighting. It kind of looks like pink, huh? It's not. It's bloody red. Like red, red. Okay. I, I don't wear pink neckties. I don't wear pink anything. No, no, my clothing, my shirt, my what, blazer, pants, no way is pink. No, okay. I have green, I have black, I have white, I have brown, I have purple, I have maybe uh, red maybe, but I don't have any pink because pink nowadays, again, just like the rainbow, hijacked by gayism. All right, so I don't want to even give an impression that I, I advocate for gayism because I don't. I'm an anti-gayist. I'm against gays, okay, so, very much so. Nobody is more anti-gays than I am, okay? Nobody. It's just that I'm peaceful, okay? When I see LGBT people, I'm nice to them. I'm very nice to them, very. I'm nice to them. I, I No, no violence, my friends, no violence. Violence is wrong, okay, because nobody likes violence. I don't hate gay people, I hate gayism, who's possessing them, alright? Yeah, so that's the distinction, okay? Because they don't know what they're doing, alright? So. so yeah, yeah, it, it's that, okay? We take a break and we get back to whatever. Probably just plus minus stuff. We are doing algebra, okay? We are doing like really fundamental algebra it's nothing very very difficult but it's something new and who had, i haven't seen any kind of notation convention like this ever i think it could be new because i i haven't seen it okay we explore this Okay, and then we we'll get back to infinity algebra, whatever. Okay, but we get to the bottom of this. Okay, because we want to uh, rewrite abstract algebra. Because first, I don't want to learn that abstract algebra that they did, because it's kind of you guys are too complex. You you guys too. Oh my goodness! Oh no! <laughs> Fuck that! Fuck no! So I rather not. I, I didn't like the way they formulated all that shit. Okay. But maybe some somehow maybe I need to learn a little bit. Okay, because I, I do want to understand Galois theory. But the way they constructed abstract algebra, like field theory, group theory, ring theory, I I, I don't like the way they did it. Okay, so so I'm, we are creating something brand new. Okay. Am I lazy? Well, maybe, okay? But look, it's more fun to create than learn something other people have created. I am a huge fan of this Declaration of Independence, Pursuit of Happiness. I want to be happy. <laughs> I don't want to learn this extra algebra and unhappy. No, I'd rather create my brand new algebra and be happy. Whether I get appreciated or not, it, it's irrelevant. I have my happiness when I create this. That's it. That's all I need. Okay, we'll take a break, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm drunk. A little bit. Not by, not by much. We'll be back. <clears throat> tipsy, tipsy.
Okay, we are back. There's this uh, downy woodpecker in my yard pecking on a dead birch tree in my yard. It's so cute. It's the size of a chickadee. It's the smallest woodpecker. Oh, okay. Let's let's do this, okay? We're gonna erase everything, all right? Because uh, by the way, this F circle G composite operator it looks like fog. F O G. Who noticed that before? I'm sure somebody has noticed that. Who doesn't? Some students take. Well, I did. I took English literature class. One English literature class. I got a B because <laughs> I I don't quite. I love that class, but I didn't like the examination because they let us read this books that I don't want to read some novel. And they want me to kind of memorize it. My goodness, memorize this book. Why? Why should I memorize somebody else's imagination? Oh, that's such an insult to me. No. I don't want to even read these fictions, but I love the class itself because there's this discussion about life, what the author was thinking, that was intriguing, but the exam itself, oh my goodness. But I love that class though. Yeah, so yeah, fog, F circle G. <laughs> so something I noticed. I mean, my point is what I was making is if, if somebody have taken calculus and also English literature class, maybe they kind of F circle G kind of look like fog. What? Just some random observation. So yeah, okay. So one divided by a okay. It's like zero minus zero minus a, which is equal to a. Here is equal to a. You have one over one over a, okay. And we're gonna denote this as divided divided a is equal to multiplication a, okay. Just like here, you have minus minus a is equal to plus a, okay? So one is Im always implied here, one here, one here, and one here. And you have here, zero here, zero here, zero here, okay? So that's that, that's, that's all there is to it, okay? Whew. Here is it's like minus one multiplied by minus one. Now, what's between this? Between two division? Is it multiplication or what? Or is it something else? It's not exactly a composite function. Now I'm getting hot. Oh, I got a ton of that room here. Oh boy. Oh, it is already off. Okay.
Okay. Oh, boy. So, by the way, we'll, we'll take a break. I, I mean, I, yeah, we'll find out what's between. Here we have minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. Oh, but here, division 1 and multiplied by division A, what's between the two? Is it multiplication or is it something else? We'll get back to that, okay? So, But now, let's talk about something else briefly, okay? We'll take a break from mathematics. So, I told you, like... Uh, If there is afterlife, and if I <coughs> manage to go to heaven, paradise, if it is so, I told I think I told you many times, bazillion times by now that I would rather see one trillion virgins of all races and of all ages. Well, over 18, of course. Okay, over 18. But yeah, I, I want some range of ladies. Between 18 and 55, I think that's fair range. But yeah, it has to be one t 7 trillion virgin. And then I think I may get fed up very quickly with all these girls who want to have sex with me, maybe I would get fed up, okay? Maybe I would want some brothers, male friends, you know? Yeah, I think that's possible. You know, some brotherhood, because if I, I've never been surrounded by girls, okay? But I've seen some people who are surrounded by girls and what I observe is that they really enjoy uh, this, you know, male friends. Like, uh, you know, sometimes we guys, we want to hang out with other guys, have some beer, you know. That's totally different. It's very asexual. It has nothing to do with sexuality, but some, yeah, brotherhood. Yeah, maybe I, I might miss that. <laughs> only surrounded by seven trillion virgins in heaven. Maybe I'd, I'd miss that. Yeah, so that's what, one thing I wanted to bring up, okay? So, okay, that's that. All right, so what is this? So we are uh, kind of dealing, okay, this minus or plus, that's a unary operator. Unary operator means it's a sign, sign of a number. It's a function of one variable, okay? Now, it's time to erase. This sign, I mean, this operator plus, there are two kinds of plus. First, it's a function, okay, plus, it's just like F or G. Plus A comma B is equal to A plus B, okay? Now, plus of A is equal to plus A, okay? Minus, same thing. Minus of A comma B is A minus B. Minus of A is minus A, so unary operator, binary operator, okay? Function of one variable, function of two variables. They both give out one single number, okay? And also it's not just plus minus, it's also multiplication and division too. Okay? Multiplication, division, Multiplication, division, okay? Now, we are doing composite function, okay? Okay, F circle G is a composite function 
of x is equal to f of uh, g of x okay composite function okay uh, I'm gonna give you an example because if you already know what composite function is then take a nap okay skip this part all right so you have x y z you apply g first and then you apply f that's the composite function from x to z we call it uh, f circle g okay so you have g of x which is equal to y and f of y which is equal to z but f of f circle g of x is equal to z okay so that's the uh, concept of composite function okay so let's say gx is gx is what x plus one okay now f of y is equal to two times y okay so then do, do you, are you seeing all this or is it off the screen it's not off the screen but it's too light yeah i i gotta buy <laughs> pens <laughs> sorry okay so f circle g of x okay is equal to f of g x okay and what is that g x what is g x x plus one right what is f of x plus one two times this right two x plus two okay it's that simple that's composite function okay now I think the best way to think about this is um, composite function okay uh, of unary operators all right for example division of a it's like f of a so function of, that takes one variable is it's, uh, one divided by a okay now division circle division of a is equal to uh, division uh, division a right is equal to division uh, 1 over a which is equal to 1 over there's a big bar and smaller bar is 1 over a which is equal to a okay so division yeah that's function okay that's uh, what it is We are defining unary operator in terms of binary operator and the identity number of this operator. Okay, just like unary operator minus a is like f a or g a function. Okay, is equal to zero minus a. That's the definition of this function. Okay, all right. So minus circle minus of a yeah I know it kind of looks exotic it's, it almost looks like this most you know like dee 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 most most language right zeros and ones yeah most language is very cool stuff you know I, I don't know most language I don't memorize most language
But I think it is really cool. I think it's worth while to memorize, but I'm just too lazy. Okay. Yeah, most symbol, most language, okay, it's kind of binary that way. And that's uh, what? So minus the unary operator, unary function, okay? Function of one variable. Circle, composite function, okay? Is, is, is what? Zero minus, zero minus a, which is equal to uh, just a, okay? So yeah. That, that's what it is, okay? So the operator, that we are thinking is, uh, is, is a composite function operator. So we found it, okay? So that's what it is, the composite function operator. All right? It's not multiplication, no, it's composite function operator, all right? That's between these two division, okay? So yeah, this division is flips upstairs and downstairs, okay? Just like minus, it flips the sign. If it's plus, it flips to minus. If it's minus, then it flips to plus, okay? So it's a very, very useful notion in mathematics, okay? So it, this division, you know the operator, we call it inverse. You know, you switch upstairs and downstairs. Very, very useful. Minus up, you know the operator. Yeah, just flip the sign. Also very, very useful. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's think about the next level, the power operation, all right, and on. Because from power operation and on, it's all the same, okay? It bifurc bifurcates, right? Because the operator is no longer commutative, all right? So they have two inverse functions. Power operator inverse function, is there are two of them, okay? The radical and uh, also and um, logarithm, okay? <laughs> because A power B is not equal to B power A, okay? That's why you have two different inverse functions, right? When we had this division and what minus plus or multiplication, it was unary operator, right? Just like a sine plus minus sine, right? You have division a, multiplication a, or plus a, minus a. It served as a sine, right? <coughs> but this. Uh, by the way. So, and multiplication has only one inverse function, that's division. And plus operator, plus function has only one inverse function, then that's subtraction, okay? But, from this uh, power and on, we talked about all the higher operators, right? Higher order operator, like A top B, a top B is equal to A to the A to the A to the A. You just keep powering on and blah, 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 times uh, power by A. There are total number of B of these A's. We call it A top B. And A top B top, A top, A top, A top, A top, A. There are total, <sighs> all right. A top, A top, A top, A. Blah, 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 today, and there are B of them, then we call this A left shoulder B, okay? 
So yeah, it's, it's a general operator concept, all right? I came up with this when I was in college, okay? Then I presented to mathematics professors. <laughs> some of them liked it, some of them said, oh, it's garbage, bullshit. Ah, it's okay, whatever. Whatever, okay? It's a simple concept. So I presented to uh, mathematics professors in college, undergrad, and some of them liked it, some of them didn't. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. So, um, we are rewriting abstract algebra because I didn't like the way they did it. This field theory, ring theory, group theory. I, I didn't like the way they did the abstract algebra, okay? So, we are creating brand new algebra, okay, abstract algebra. We are rewriting abstract algebra, okay, that's what we're doing. Okay, because we want to be creative. By the way, anyway, that's that. So, here, inverse function of this power operator, okay, there are two kinds. But inverse function of multiplication, inverse function of addition, each of them has only one inverse function, like division or subtraction. All right? But inverse function of power operator and on, this top operator or left shoulder operator, yeah, they always have two kinds of uh, inverse functions because they are not commutative. Okay? They are not commutative from here on. Because a plus b was b plus a, a times b was b times a. So that's why they had only one inverse function. So inverse function, the number of inverse function depends on commutativeness. If this operator is commutative, like a plus b is equal to b plus a, then you only have one inverse function, okay? If it's not commutative, then you have two inverse functions, all right? Yeah, you can say that, okay, it's a law. Yeah, you will just discover this law, mathematical law. The law of... relationship between commutativity and the number of inverse functions. Sure. Why don't you name it? Because it's just too long a name. The law of relationships between commutativity and the number of inverse functions. It's too long a name, okay? So why don't you rename it, okay? Because I I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to rename. Why don't you be creative and name it? Yeah. I'm giving it to you. Name it, publish your academic paper, be famous, make money, okay? And get a professor job, all right? <laughs> By all means, okay, I, I'm giving it to you, all right? Just mention that you got it from somewhere else. You don't have to mention my name or human knowledge series, whatever. By the way, let's take a break from all this bullshit, okay? Bumbo jumbo. So, like, you know, when I, I'm running for president, right? I, I, yeah, because I want to be like Dr. Zykel and Hyde, Mr. Hyde. I want to separate my sanity and insanity, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you are married, or, or if you are in a romantic relationship, but no ultra-interracialism. Are you an ethnic man? Leave the young, beautiful white girl alone, okay? Let young, beautiful white girl date white guys and marry them, okay? You don't want to waste their youth. Because we need to protect and preserve white race, okay? So, you're a man, you cannot have sex 
you cannot date, you cannot have long term long term relationship with young, beautiful white girls. Okay. Because they need to get married with to uh white guys and preserve and protect the white race. I mean we ethnic guys, we love to have sex with white girls, young, beautiful white girls. But that's satanic because it contains self-contradiction. We are killing something that we love, white girls. Because if I marry a white girl, young white girl, our children will not be white. I love her because she's white and our children will not be white. What did I just do? Micro genocide. I killed the white race. <laughs> okay, so I'm killing something that I love. That's nobody else can do this except Satan, the devil. You are killing something that you love. Self contradiction, right? Love and hate. Yeah, so don't do it. Selfish, greedy, lustful. All right. Then what do I do? Yeah, I only date old, aged, white white ladies. That's the only ones I date. Okay. And I, don't get me wrong. Asian girls, African American girls, Hispanic girls. Yeah, they're all beautiful. Okay. But I mean. Yeah, they are beautiful. I've dated all of them, all the different races. They are beautiful. Yes, but uh, aged white girls, like white ladies over 40s, 45, whatever. If I marry them, for example, if I marry a 55 year old white woman, then they freeze up 55 year old white man. So that he can go after young white woman. A 55 year old white man, he still produces millions of sperm, white sperms every day. This white guy. He can go after young white girls instead of dating this 55 year old white woman. So, yeah, I'm helping white race being preserved because this 55 year old white man is going after younger white girl who can have babies rather than going after 55 year old white girl that I'm dating or I'm marrying okay so yeah we protect and preserve the white race why am I talking about why am I talking about this I guess it's time to take a break, okay? I, I think it's time to take a break. So, you know, it's kind of a pretty picture, so... Uh, my phone is charging, all right? So we'll take a break, and I bring back my phone, and I take a picture of this, and we continue with whatever, all right? Why was I talking about this? Well, whatever, I don't recall, all right? So yeah, I, I'm running for president, right? And I lost the train of my thought. So I'm running for president and yeah, it's my outlet to let out all my insanity, like the raving lunatic. But yeah, I mean, if you, if you have a girlfriend, but if you have ultra interracialistic, if you are ethnic man, fucking a young, beautiful white girl, no, we are not talking about that. Because that's not legit. That's not legitimate. In the eyes of humanology, okay? You should break up. Are you married, are you an ethnic man married to young, beautiful white girl? 
you need to divorce. Okay? Get the young, beautiful white girl, marry white man. Okay? Because we don't recognize your marriage or your relationship. We don't. Okay? It's all bullshit. Okay? Your relationship, if you are ethnic man married or having long-term relationship with a beautiful, young, slender white girl, we don't bless you. You don't have our blessing. Okay, because your relationship or marriage is a is satanic. You better break up, divorce, because we don't recognize your marriage. Okay, I mean we don't care about the law of society. We only care about morality and ethics. Okay, if you are an ethnic man married to or have a long term relationship with a young beautiful white girl. Uh, you are possessed by ultra, the devil, Satan of ultra intellectualism. Okay, you need to break up. You need to divorce. Okay, and let the young, beautiful white girl marry white man. All right. I'm dead serious. I'm not joking. Okay. Uh, that's what you should do. Otherwise, uh, you don't belong here. All right. We don't want you. Because I, I just cannot stand it, okay? Just ethnic man marrying or having long-term relationship with young, beautiful white girl, you are destroying the white race. We cannot condone that. I know what I sound like. Yeah, I sound like white supremacist, Adolf Hitler, not just... You, you can call me names all you want, okay? But... You are destroying what you love. You are ethnic man. Yeah, you are having sex with blonde girl or red haired girl. Your children will not be blonde or red haired or blue eyes or green eyes. They will all just like you. Brown. Okay. So you are getting rid of the thing that you love the most. White race. Okay, so... You are possessed by the Satan, the devil. Okay, so you are destroying that one thing that you love the most, the white race. Okay, so if you are, we all make mistakes. I did. Don't you remember the second Lopita's rule? I, I misled people. Just like Barack Obama, just like President Trump, President Obama, President Trump. Justice Kennedy, Justice Ginsburg, Pope Francis. Dude, we are all human beings. We make mistakes. Sometimes we have negative influence. We make mistakes that we cannot quite reverse. We have to live with the kind of mistake we have to live with until we die. Just like I drank alcohol and then I went out on a bicycle riding and I was, I put my two hands down and woo, so I broke my clavicle. There's this med, med, I had surgery, this metal piece holding my right clavicle together. I have to live with that for the rest of my life. Yeah, some mistakes are enduring. We have to live with it until we die. Some mistakes. Yes, there are some irreversible mistakes. We will make that. If you have long lived long enough, yeah, you probably have made a couple of those irreversible mistakes. Perhaps even unrepentable mistakes. Like tattoos, piercings, some gay whatever, plastic surgery, gay, whatever, LGBT, marijuana, whatever, okay, yeah, we will make some kind of bad mistakes, we all do, all right, but if you are married to a young, beautiful white girl, or you are having a relationship with them, you need to let them go, and let them marry eligible white guys. Because we want to protect and preserve this beautiful white race. 
singular, unique Caucasian race with blonde hair and red hair and blue eyes, green eyes, pink skin, white skin, orange skin. I mean, no other race have that. And white race is like 10% 10, 10 of the human population. All the rest of us, we are just brown, black hair, brown eyes. We are all browns. Okay, so you should never mess with young, beautiful, slender white girls. You should leave them to white boys, white men. Because we want to protect and preserve this, this beautiful race, species. Don't you want to protect and preserve lions, white bears, polar bears, Dalmatians? Yeah, of course you want to protect and preserve that. Would you rather breed Dalmatian to Chihuahua or Bulldog or Pug or interbreed Dalmatian with German Shepherd? And no, you don't want that. You want diversity preserved. Okay, what I'm saying to you is very elementary. It's nothing some higher physics or genetics or molecular biology or this DNA, whatever, this calculus. No, it's common sense. But nobody wants to talk about this. Why? Because they're afraid. President Trump, President Obama, they don't talk about this. Why? Because they're afraid. They, want, they don't want to be called as a Nazist, Hitler sympathizer, racist, white supremacist. Me? Well, first of all, I'm not white, so I can be all the racist. I can, <laughs> if, I can be all the racist that I, I want because I'm not white. Okay, so I can talk about anything. I'm free because I'm not white, okay? <laughs> so there's some benefit of not being white. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean, look at, look at the white girls. I mean, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're blonde, blue-eyed, green-eyed, white skin, red hair. Yeah, they are, of course they're fucking beautiful. So let's pre preserve and protect what is fucking beautiful. Let them marry white guys. Leave them alone. Just enjoy the view. Don't be too greedy or lustful. Leave them alone. You want to marry and or date white girls? Yeah, marry and date older, single white ladies. Not married ones. Single. Older white ladies, like after 45 or something. But that's what I do. Do they like me? No, they hate me. <laughs> that's why I'm single. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, I go just go to go to like uh, adult websites and then test that. Okay, we need to take a break. Okay. I, I need some vocal rest. Vocal rest. Okay, so take a break, we get back. Okay. No more politics, I promise you. Alright? Okay.
All right, uh, we are back. Oh boy, it's kind of getting chilly, so I turned the heater, heaters. So yeah, that that's all there is to it. Okay, so uh, <laughs> there isn't really much to talk about here. Okay, yeah, from power operation and on. Power operation, top operation, left shoulder operation, left foot operation, right foot operation. Plus to the fourth, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's all the same from after, okay? You have two inverse operators, and it's not unary operator anymore, because you have what? Root of M and N, okay? M's root of number n and logarithm of m and n okay there's no longer this unary operator from power operation and on okay it's always binary binary operator okay all these inverse functions yeah it's always binary operator okay because it's not commutative all right that that's all there is to it okay and then um there's nothing else to talk about anymore. I mean, for now. Okay? Oh, boy. So. Yeah, this uh, discussion of general operator, this plus to the fourth, plus, this is very crucial in the discussion, discourse of topic, subject of infinity algebra. Okay, because in infinity algebra, we are talking about absorption rule. Okay, we are talking about the speed of infinity or speed of infinitesimality. So it's kind of inverse of that, okay? Yeah, the infinity and infinitesimality, that's kind of inverse in terms of uh, this multiplication. But we can think about inverse of addition, inverse of multiplication, inverse of power operation or top operation, left shoulder operation, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, mathematics is about generalization. All right. So uh, that's, that's why I, did, I was not satisfied with this abstract algebra. Group theory, field theory, ring theory. No, I, I don't think they are quite doing it right, okay? I thought, you know what, you know guys, I think I can do better. Just like <laughs> in economics or psychology, right? Uh, you know, psychology, I don't even like the name. Psycho. This what? It's a bad name. Yeah, humanology is a better name, okay? I didn't even like the name of that entire academic discipline, psychology. No, no, I don't like the name. So, yeah. So, we're going to rename it as humanology. We want it to be more humane, humanistic, okay? This Alfred Marshall... Professor Alfred Marshall, the way he did this demand and supply curve, nah, it's bullshit. No, we didn't quite like you did, Mr. Uh, Professor Marshall. I mean, you did contribute some, your marginal utility, yeah, it's cool concepts. And you introduced this analytic method, like physics, mathematics method to, in, to economics. It is a good concept. We appreciate that, but we think you are wrong, okay? So, yeah. So we came up with transactional demand theory. We came up with humanology. We came up with this general operator concept. So, okay, so. Yeah, so general operator concept, I'm just doing one more time for you, okay? Plus the fourth is plus, okay? plus to the second multiplication plus to the third 
power operation, okay? Plus to the fourth, yeah, top operation. Plus to the fifth, left shoulder. Plus to the sixth, right foot, okay? Plus to the seven, I mean, I'm sorry, left foot, okay? Right foot, okay? Then we run out of this indexing position, so we, we have to just denote the plus to the seven, plus to the eight. Inverse operation of that, yeah, plus to the minus one, okay? And you have plus to the minus two, and from here on, you have plus to the minus three and plus to the uh, three i. Something like that, okay? You have plus to the minus 4 and plus to the 4i. Uh, something like that, okay? But from here on, AI yeah, is always two of them, so... It's not that hard, alright? You got it? I'll take a picture of this. I think I erased the previous <laughs> whiteboard without taking a picture. What a shame. Ugh. What an idiot. Doesn't matter, it's already recorded in the video, so. It's easy to take a picture of a video, okay? So whatever. So, uh, well, what is the plus to the zeros then? Plus to the zero, I, we can think of it as a, some kind of identity, okay? Like A is equal to A. Right, you are not doing anything, okay? Yeah, we can think of that as plus to the zeros. Identity function, okay? Okay. We are dealing with the easy stuff because we don't know much about mathematics, okay? We're kind of lazy, but we are very creative kind. Because creative people tend to be lazy, like what Rune Descartes. He loved just lying on bed late in the morning. He didn't like wake up in the morning and going to work, so he just lied down. He has some, I guess, rich patron. Okay, wealthy patron, so he just lied down and he looked up in the ceiling, and there was this fly, according to what one oral tradition, whatever, one parable, I don't know, one folklore. He looked at the fly of the ceiling, okay, there's this corner in the ceiling, this water on the ceiling, and yeah, that's how he came up with this. Maybe it was spider or fly, I don't know, or mosquito or bed bug even. Some insect, okay? Okay, X, Y coordinate. That's one uh, story. <laughs> we don't know if it's true or not. I look at me, I'm drinking vodka. Okay. Yeah, we want to be creative. We don't want to just learn, learn. Ah, fuck that shit, dude. We don't care what other people think. In a way, I'm very liberal. Okay. Yeah, I'm conservative in certain topics. At heart, I'm very much liberal because I'm a rebel. I'm rebellious, but I'm very non-violent. Okay, I look at my hair, man. I, it's kind of rebellious kind of hair. Woo! Whatever. Okay. I gotta pee. Let's take another break, okay? But before we take a go, take a break. Um, one more thing. Um, so we have to talk about this absorption rule, okay? So and the significance of this generalized operator concept, okay? So <sighs> we have some kind of infinity, right? And you have plus some kind of plus minus operator 
and A, let's say it's one, two, three, four, five, whatever. It, yeah, it absorbs that, right? But if you have operator, I mean, if, if some kind of infinity, and if you multiply by A and divide by A, it's not equal to uh, those, this, that kind of infinity. No. Why? Because, again, infinity algebra is nothing but simplification, simplified notation or convention of this traditional this limit algebra. Okay, when x limit x go to infinity of x plus 1 is same as limit x go to infinity of x. Okay. Yeah, I, I I know it's hard to read because it kind of squeeze in, but I'm reading it out to you, and I also know <laughs> my English is not easy to understand. These letters on the whiteboard is not easy to see. My English accent is not easy to understand because you could be from anywhere. You could be from. Alabama or Florida or Montana or Maine or you could be from India, Korea. If you are Korean, Koreans, yeah, you probably understand perfectly understand my English because you have the same Korean Korean English accent, okay. But if you are from Russia, if you are in Russia, if you are in South America or South Africa. Yeah, you probably have having a hard time understand my accent, English accent. Okay. By the way, nowadays every ethnic people they come to white countries, but back in the days, like five hundred years ago, it was the other way. It was white people going to ethnic countries. Yeah, in Great Britain, yeah, British Empire. The, or Portuguese, Spaniards, Spanish people, Netherlands, Dutch people. Yeah, they all went out to Africa, Asia to trade or colonize. Yeah, they went to Africa, they went to Asia. White people, yeah, they expect just like imperialism or just trade to trade exchange they, yeah so white people went out to ethnic countries that's how it used, used to be like 500 years ago okay nowadays it's all the ethnic people coming to white countries okay so ebbs and flows okay so we'll take a break okay Take a break. All right? Okay. All right.
Okay. They cooking my dinner. I got my <laughs> laundry in the dryer. Uh, then I will doing mathematics. Cooking my dinner in the microwave and doing my laundry in the dryer. Then we are doing mathematics. You know, there's this, this uh, good book called uh, Chaos, written by this guy who worked for the New York Times. I think it was written in 1980s or something. Yeah, this huge gap the scientists experience. But he's not just scientists. He has also plumber, electrician, carpenters, car mechanics, what they do. Any profession, okay? Yeah, like cleaning professionals, you know, janitorial, custodial, professional. They are, it's all profession. Any job is a profession. You know, taxi driver. I don't like Uber, by the way. Uber, all this Lyft, whatever. I don't think it's safe. Because there are this incident crime there was this college girl in what north carolina or south carolina very beautiful girl and she mistook with this random car as a her uber ride and he killed her i think i'm thinking it's probably rape and murder okay a guy Possessed by this rape slash murderism, he rapes her and then murders her, kills her because he doesn't want to go to jail. He's possessed by this devil of rape murderism. Okay, so Uber, this lift is not safe. I'd rather just take a taxi. Okay, all these brand new ideas that people come up with nowadays is all garbage. Like what SpaceX, <laughs> Alien Search, Black Matters, what Dark Matters, Black Life Matters, or what Black Hole, or what else? Black Hole, Dark Matters, Black Life Matters, or. Uh, SpaceX or Alien Search or what else? What else? Yeah, legalization of gay marriage, legalization of marijuana, <laughs> ultra interracialism, ethnic motherfuckers marrying beautiful young white girls, and what what are stupid ideas they come up with? Uber, Lyft. Lady Gaga, gay marriage, transgender surgery, plastic surgery, tattoos, piercings, obesity, marijuana, yeah, all these brand new ideas that this generation come with. It's all garbage, okay? It's all satanic, devilish, it's all destructive, self-destructive, satanic, okay? Okay, black life matters. What it is about, the way I see it is, uh, if you are black, you can commit crimes and you can get away with it, okay? Only because you are black, yeah, you should never be convicted, no matter what you do, what you do, what you have done. If you commit crimes, if you're black, yeah, you go free. It's like gay life matters. <laughs> <laughs> President Barack Obama, he was the for, for, forerunner of that, right? He's the pioneer of this gay life matters, right? You, if you're gay, LGBT, you're gay, lesbian, tr bisexual, transgender, yeah, you go free, no matter what crime you committed, yeah. Just because you are gay, yeah, you can go free. You don't get punished. Special. It's not equal right, no, it's superior right. Special treatment. Yeah, look at that transgender guy, right? 
He was in the U.S. Army, military intelligence. He committed treason. He leaked out this military top secret information to the well, WikiLeaks or something. So a lot of people died from it. He got free. Why? Because he became a woman. Woman, right? He's not a woman. No, he's a faker. He's pretend to be a woman. He's not fooling anybody. Yeah. A handsome guy, right? He could have become a very handsome... He could have been a just handsome guy. He is. He was. But he become... Pretend to be a woman wearing skirts. <laughs> Nowadays, the only, per only person... The only people in America who wear skirts are transgender men. Who pretend to be a woman. Because no natural women in America wear skirts. They're all fucking dykes, lesbians, and le what? Bad feminists, and whatnot. So they never wear skirts. It's only transgender guys. <laughs> the only women in America who put on make makeups, like mascara and lipsticks and whatnot, and foundation and whatnot, is men who pretend to be women, okay? That's the only women, uh, only people in America who put on foundation, lipsticks, and mascara. The transgender guys who pretend to be a woman, okay? So they are the only one who put on skirts, stockings, high heels, shoes. No other people do that in America anymore. <laughs> And that's all happening under Mr. President Trump's administration. You are the conservative hero, the god of Republican people. They worship President Trump, right? As if he's God or prophet or whatever, right? The oh Bible predicted this President Trump is gonna save us like King Emperor Cyrus did to Israelites, oh, they worship President Trump as if he's God or prophet or divine king. <laughs> Pathetic, right? Yeah, so there's this Hollywood actor, right? He, he faked this victimization on gay person. He's what? He's not exactly black. I guess he's half black, half something else. He's very light skinned, kind of brown. Okay, but hey, 1% black is still black, so I'm black, I'm gay. So yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, I staged this victimization on gay, this hanging, this lynch of black person, gay person, okay? So yeah, I staged all that in order to bump up my pay grade in this acting job in Hollywood. He go free, right? In what? Cook County in Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, just because he's black and he's gay, he go free. Doubly. He's black and he's gay. Of course he go free. It's Illinois, Chicago, right? It's a very liberal place. It's Illinois and it's Chicago, urban. Yeah, big cities tend to be very liberal, and Illinois is very liberal. That's where uh, President Obama, Barack Obama, came from, right? Yeah, you black, you go free. You gay, you go free. If you're black and gay, oh, yeah, you go free, free. Okay. That's what happened. It's, it's hilarious, okay? So, uh... <laughs> And President Trump, oh yeah, that's all happening on the President Trump administration. So what does that say about Trump, Mr. Trump, President Trump's leadership? It's garbage, okay? So if you vote for him, President Trump, just because he's rich, he's famous, and he's incumbent president, and if you don't vote for me just because what, I'm Asian, I'm nobody, paper pusher in Alaska, then you are wrong, okay? So 
I ask you to do the right thing. But in all honesty, I don't want my name to be in the presidential ballot. Why? Because I want you to write down my name on top of those idiots like President Trump, Marco Rubio, or Ted Cruz, or Democratic Party, gay marriage approving, marijuana approving idiots. I want you to write down my name on top of their stupid fucking names as a protest. Okay, that's why I, I don't want my name to be on the ballot. Okay. Yeah, just write down my name on top of their fucking names. Okay. Trample upon their names with my names. Okay, yeah. Put your feet on top of their names with my names. Step on it. Because they're fucking idiots. Yeah, they may be famous, rich, like President Trump, Marco Rubio, or some Democratic Party senators or congressmen, whatever, like Bernie Sanders or what, Ilhan, what, Omar. <laughs> yeah, write down my name on top of their names. It's like stepping on their names because they're idiots. Stupid fucking names, okay? So I'd rather not be on the president's Better, so that you can write down my names on top of their names. Okay? Oh. Is it illegal? No, it's not illegal. Why? Your ballot is yours. You can do whatever you want with your ballot. You can write on it. You can write your name on it. You can write, write your dog's cat's name on it. Why? Because it's your constitutional right. It's a freedom of speech. It's a constitutionally protected holy document. Okay, so whatever you write on your ballot, presidential ballot in 2010 November, it is your constitutional right. It's a holy, the, the holiest, sacrosanct, Nobody can say anything. You can do whatever you want. You can say, fuck you. You can say, oh, bullshit on your presidential ballot. Or you can write down my name or your name or anybody's name. That's not illegal. No, it's constitutional right. Freedom of speech, freedom of vote. Okay? How about writing candidacy, writing candidacy? Well, no, I'm not going to do that. No. Don't you think I have better things to do than that? Yeah, I've got mathematics and physics to figure out. I'm trying to rewrite the abstract algebra right here. More important than that, I'm, I'm doing humanology. Okay, but in terms of humanology, I think we are pretty much in good shape. We, did, we talked a lot about humanology. I don't think there is anything much to say in terms of humanology, to be honest. So we're we kind of done with humanology, at least for now. So we are doing mathematics nowadays, okay? <laughs> okay? Yeah. Humanality is a pain and pleasure, okay? It's all there is. It's about pain, not about pleasure. Yeah, we need some pleasure in life, we do. But it's more about discipline. Just like Jesus said, go through the narrow, narrow path. A lot of resistance. Do what's hard. Like in the U.S. Army, what I learned in U.S. Army, yeah, do the hard right, not the easy wrong. Do the hard right, not the easy wrong. Okay? Yeah, th that's Jesus young too. But, at the same time, if I want to, if I, if I get this assignment to kill somebody, let's say, it like, 
Jason Bourne, right? I got I get hired by CIA, FBI, whatever, some top secret pet project of government. Or, or if I get hired by these gang members, gangster, gang organization, mafia, whatever, it will be very hard for me to kill somebody. So yeah, doing what's hard, it does not always mean that's the right thing to do. To kill somebody as an ordinary citizen is a very difficult thing to do. Is it the right thing to do just because it's something very hard to do? No, no. So Jesus and ethics is not exactly complete or perfect. That's why we are here. We are humanologists. The number one priority for us as humanologists is ethics, morality. That's, that's the number one priority. Okay? And Jesusian ethics and Jesusian morality is not complete. We are here to complete it. We are like new, new testament in Christianity. Okay? So... We'll take a break and we will we'll, we'll talk about humanology, okay? We talk enough about mathematics. So it's about time, right? We'll do that. Let's take a break, okay? We we're gonna erase all this crap. Oh boy. Mathematics. We we'll forget about it for a second, okay?
Okay, we are back. Um, how much time do we have? Uh, one hour. All right. Okay, let's give it our best shot. <laughs> Man. I saw new drinks, okay? I, I just... Brand new, this, uh, what, well, three, uh... Chef mushroom drinks is is so cool, okay. But uh, I have some variety, so ah oh, boy. <sighs> so what do we do now? I mean, okay. So we said okay, we're gonna do some humanology stuff. Because it's been a while. We've been doing all this mathematical mumbo jumbo, you know. <laughs> Me misleading you, I'm sorry. Or perhaps, probably, I mean, if you take some mathematics, maybe you knew all along that this uh, second Lopta theorem that, the f that I ca came up with first was faulty. Maybe you were laughing at me all, all, all this time. My bad, it's my mistake, okay? I mean, come on, mathematics professors, man. The British mathematics professor who proved this uh, Fermat's last theorem, Fermat's last theorem, he made a mistake too, okay? Because we are all human beings, okay? We make mistakes, all right? So, stop picking on me. <laughs> I will stop picking on myself, okay? Whatever. Yeah, but that's... I feel better about it, okay? <laughs> I should have paid more attention in this mathematics class when they were talking about inverse function theorem. <sighs> My bad, alright, so... We, yeah, we talk about humanology, okay? So, what about it? I kind of forgot. I had to jog my memory, okay? So, humanology, what do we talk about it? What was that humanological topic we wanted to talk about? I forgot. <clears throat> I genuinely forgot. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, here I am as an anti marijuana ist. We'll talk shit about marijuana because, oh, marijuana, it gets a little short of memory. And then now I do some more marijuana and I, I forgot what I was, was going to talk about. I don't recall, all right, so. This is topic I want to talk about. <sighs> oh. Maybe come back to us later, okay? Uh, okay, yeah, we talk about pain and pleasure, right? Okay, so it's about discipline. Yeah, do the hard right rather than easy wrong. Yeah, we did talk about that. That I remember. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. now I'm kind of getting back to this train of thought. Okay, Jesusian ethics is not complete. It's not perfect. He has some flaws. Yeah, we talked about, okay, Let's say I'm starving. I I got fired, so I have no job, and there's this criminal organization, this mafia group, or 
CIA, whatever, Jason Bourne, whatever, okay, who t hired me because, hey, I need a job, okay, this mafia group or in Chicago outfit or New York mafia, whatever, or CIA, FBI, not FBI, yeah, most likely CIA, right, this is some strange stuff, right, <laughs> I don't, I don't know about CIA, I don't know anything about CIA. I have never met CIA agent. Have I ever met FBI, FBI agent? No, I don't know anything about that. But. So yeah, they Chicago outfit or some criminal organization. They hire me and hey, kill this guy. You know, it be very difficult for me to do that because I have never killed anyone. Okay, so. It's something very difficult and hard things to do. Hard thing to do for me. Narrow road, okay? Do I know how to kill people? Yeah. I mean, anybody know how to kill people. You have to pull the trigger. Pee, boo, ah, I'm dead. Pull the trigger. Or, eh, or, eh, 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 whatever. I mean, everybody know how to kill a person. That's nothing difficult. But, physically it's not that hard to kill a person. Okay? Especially if you know martial arts. Okay? Or, beep! If you know how to shoot a gun. It's not that difficult to kill a person physically. Trigger, okay? But to actually do it, no, it's not hard. I mean, it's not easy. Because I have morality, ethics, Christianity, religion. But Jesus said, oh, hey, I'm Mr. Jesus. Do what is hard and difficult for you. Yeah, whatever it is. It's very difficult thing to do. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Then, what does that tell me? <laughs> I have to kill this person. Because so difficult a thing to do for me. Yeah, this, that's where Jesusian ethics collapses. Like a deck of cards. Mr. Jesus. Mr. Jesus. Come on. You want me to kill this person because... It's very difficult thing for me to do, and you, Mr. Son of God. You know, we need, let's do some acting, shall we? We don't need this fucking whiteboard. Uh. Mr. Jesus, Mr. Jesus, you tell me what? I have to kill this innocent person just because what? To prove you right, Mr. Jesus, you said your theory is that whatever it is that is very difficult thing to do, Mr. Jesus, it is the right thing to do, right? That's what you said, Mr. Jesus. So, but I disagree because I think you're wrong. I think your ethics. Your ethical system, morality theory is flawed. Because it's not always about what's difficult, what's easy. No. I I think you missed that point. You misled us. Look at all these martyrs. Suiciders, they thought they were serving you, Mr. Jesus. They were doing very difficult things. They, they went to Amazon Zongle. I, I, I watched this movie, Hollywood movie, The Mission. I love that movie. Okay. Da 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 
ra ta ta ra ra ta 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 ra ra ta ta ra ra ta ta ra ra ta. Okay, I cry when I watch that movie, listening to that music. It was so beautiful. But <laughs> Mr. Jesus, Mr. Jesus, you misled so many people. How about crusade in the mid in the middle age the dark age crusade they killed people innocent people in the name of you almighty mr jesus the son of god they killed people in your name And I don't blame anybody but you, Mr. Jesus. I blame you. And only you, you misled people. Because your ethical system, your morality, teaching, lessons, was not perfect. Oh, you, Mr. Jesus, son of God. You're, you thought your perfect human mo role model, huh? I think you're wrong. In, I mean, you're not 100% wrong. You're maybe 80% wrong. But you're not, uh, maybe you're 20% wrong, 80% right. But you're not 100% right. But you said you are. You said you're perfect, like son of God. How about Prophet Muhammad in Islam? I think he misled many people, just like Mr. Jesus did. How many people are doing this jihad? J-H-D, jihad. Because Arabic words, typically it's like three syllables. Like salam, S-L-M, okay? Jihad, or... What are some Arabic words do I know? <laughs> I don't know much about Arabic. I'm ignorant, okay, so. Yeah, but Prophet Muhammad, Mr. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, or Confucius, or uh, Buddha, or Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Aristotle Immanuel Kant, Arthur Schopenhauer or Friedrich Nietzsche they're not perfect human beings I don't think their ethical morality religion or philosophy system I don't think they are perfect okay we are here as humanologists to perfect it we are ambitious we want to achieve that even Mr. Son of God, Mr. Jesus Christ could not even achieve. We want to come up with a perfect morality and ethical system. What is right, what is wrong. Okay? But at the same time, we learn from Prophet Muhammad, we learn from Mr. God, Son of God, Jesus, Confucius, Mr. Confucius. I don't know how to say Mr. in Chinese, okay? So, uh, Mr. Confucius, Mr. Muhammad Gandhi, or Mahatma Gandhi, or... Yeah, Mr. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. in, in you know, as African-American pastor, or Martin Luther King in Germany, the religious religious revolution guy or mr Muzio calvin whatever okay hell martin luther king whatever okay whatever whoever all right we learn from them we want to be better than them okay that's how it always has been we learn from our ancestors our parents but we want to be better than our parents. Okay, this evolution, improvement, advancement, 
of knowledge, science, whatever, okay? Yeah. So yeah, for me to kill somebody, it's not easy. It's a very difficult thing to do. Does not does that make it right thing to do? No, no. Okay, then let's think about Jesus's golden what golden rule. Do I want somebody to kill me? No. Why? Do I want you to kill me? No. Why? It's not that I don't want to die. Do I want to die? Well, that's kind of a hazy subject. <laughs> do I want to live or do I want to die? I'm sorry to scare you with my hand. Like, ah, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't intend that. I had to lower with the angle of this camera. And I'm gonna make it over again. Kind of funny, huh? Yeah! Oh! Kind of funny. Do I want to live or do I want to die? Well, I guess it depends on our day. <laughs> Why? Because I'm just like you. Mood swing is normal. Normal. It's not abnormal. No, we have good days and bad days. It's like night and day, summer and winter, okay? I mean, come on. Do I, are you always happy or are you always sad? No, you are happy and sad, happy and sad. It's, that's no more, okay? Just the way it is. Anxiety or bullshit, okay? Don't subscribe to psychologism, okay? I mean, it's no more. To, we, we worry about something. We are concerned about something. It's no more. Okay, it's nothing abnormal. It's life. Okay? Oh, childhood trauma. Oh, fucking bullshit. We all have bad experiences and good experiences. That's normal. That's life. Okay? We don't like psychology because psychologists, they're possessed by the devil, Satan of psychologism. It's all... Don't listen to psychologism, okay? Psychiatrism, I always okay. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> listen to me. Listen to nobody else in the world. Not your professors, teachers, your bosses, psychologists, presidents, congressmen, senators. Don't listen to them. Governors, don't listen to them. Listen to only me. Okay, because God did not send them. God sent me to you. Okay, I am your prophet. Don't listen to your pastors, imams, or your, what, uh, in Judaism, um, what do they call their religious leader in Judaism? I don't recall, okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> don't listen to me then. Listen to them, okay? Maybe you shouldn't listen to me. Oh, boy. I cannot even remember this Jewish Judaism uh, religious leader. I cannot even recall. I have to look. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Listen to other people because I'm such a bullshit. Oh boy. Who is the religious leader leader in uh, Judaism? I have to look it up in the internet, man.
Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbis. I love Rabbi, Rabbis, R A B B I, Rabbis. Okay, they are Orthodox Jews, and they are cool because Orthodox Jews, they encourage Jews marry Jews. Okay, but all these garbage Jews, like Gypsy Jews. They made the most beautiful blonde white girls like Jerry Kushner and the motherfucker who is fucking Tiffany Trump. Okay? Yeah. Or this. Who's the motherfucker in Goldman Sachs this Department of Treasury, I think? Uh, what? Munchkin? <laughs> so, <laughs> Jewish motherfucker who, who is. Who married this beautiful young blonde white girl, man? Munition or something. Treasury, I think. I think it's a treasury secretary. Okay. Stephen Munchkin, okay? Stephen Munuchin, whatever, okay? He's an ethnic Jewish motherfucker who married this beautiful white blonde girl, okay? Yeah. President Trump anoint, anointed and appointed this Jewish motherfucker who married a beautiful young blonde white girl. This Jewish motherfucker, okay? That's President fucking Trump. You gonna vote for him again in 2020 November? I don't want you, okay? I don't want you to vote for me. Because that's a shame. Vote for him, okay? Let America go down. I don't want you, okay? I don't want to lead you. I don't want to solve you, America. You stupid fucking America, okay? My goodness. How can you possibly vote for this stupid President Trump who led his two blonde white daughters? To marry and date ethnic men, the Jewish motherfuckers, Jerry Kushner and the, the even darker, even darker Jewish motherfucker, and who appoint this Jewish motherfucker who married beautiful young blonde white girl. It's an ultra interracialist sympathizer. Okay, yeah, he's this. He's destroying the white race. You think President Trump can protect the white race? You're wrong. He's destroying it. He could not even protect his two white blonde daughters. President Trump gave away his two white blonde daughters to ethnic men, Jewish motherfuckers. Jared Kushner and the other guy. And he appointed Jewish motherfucker, the ethnic man who married a beautiful young blonde white woman. He gave him the secretary, secretary of treasury spot. He's okay with that, okay? So, President Trump cannot protect you, the white people. Why? He couldn't even protect his own daughters. He gave this treasury, tre department of treasury spot to this ethnic Jewish guy who married blonde white woman. That's President Trump. Okay? If you think President Trump can protect and preserve white Caucasian race just because he's white guy, you're wrong. Okay? You get me? Huh? We take a break. And we get back to whatever, okay? I, I don't know. 
I mean, I'm not white. But, okay, you, are you ethnic? Are you Asian or are you what? African American or are you black, brown, Indian? Are you Asian or are you Pacific Islanders or Native Americans or Middle Easterns or yeah, maybe you are not white, okay? I'm not white either. <laughs> Come on. But we all love white people. Because they are beautiful. I look at them. They are not like us. They are different from us. They have blue eyes, like sky blue, sky blue eyes, okay? And they have sapphire, this jewelry, gemstone, blue eyes. Or green eyes, like emerald, like green trees, leaves. Or oh, this strawberry skin, like red skin, or like orange skin, or pearl white skin, or like white cloud, white snow, white milk. They have red hair, like ruby, like blood red hair. Who have that? Huh? We don't have that. We ethnics. We have, we have black hair, brown skin, brown eyes, that's all we have. 90%, 90% fucking percent of people in the world, on earth, in the universe, we are browns. So 10 per, only 10% of humanity have white skin, red hair, blonde hair, golden hair, okay, platinum blonde, blue eyes, green eyes, Strawberry skin, this what powdy, this what cherry lips. Only white people have that shit. Okay. Well, so yeah, let's. It's an endangered species. I don't you protect and preserve the white bear, polar bear, white fucking bear, polar bear. Don't you protect and preserve blue birds, green birds. Because they are so rare, scarce, in economics terms, scarcity value. We protect and preserve this minority race, that's the Caucasian white fucking race. Why is it so difficult to you for you fucking understand? We have to protect and preserve this minority Caucasian white race. So yeah, leave the white girls alone, okay? Let them marry, date white guys so that they preserve and protect the white Caucasian race that everybody loves. Look at Michael Rubio. Look at Ted Cruz. Look at Bruce Lee. Look at Tiger Woods. Look at Jared Kushner. All these ethnic guys, just because they are powerful, rich, and wealthy, and famous, yeah, they get the best of the best, though. Prize wise. The white girls. And I'm saying that's wrong. Okay. We'll take a break and we'll get back to this. Okay. We'll take a break and we'll get back to this. Okay. I need some book or rest. Okay. My goodness. Are you fucking retarded or what? Why do I have, have to talk about this? Again and again and again, fucking again, huh? <sighs> you better fucking grow up, okay? We we'll take a break.
Okay, we are back. I'm sorry, but I get to uh, carry the way. Okay. <laughs> what do you f expect, man? It's Monday, Monday evening. Okay, so I got from work. I came back from work. Okay, so Monday. I got no dates. I got no girlfriends. Okay, so uh, you have to understand. Okay. I'm a human being. I'm not son of God. Oh, I'm God. I'm not God. I'm not son of God. I'm not Jesus. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a saint. <laughs> I'm just a living human being, blood and flesh. Okay, so bone, whatever. I go to work and yeah, it's my Monday evening. I got nothing. So yeah, I talk shit. Okay, so. Life is good and bad. <laughs> it's good and bad, okay? Sometimes I have some good time. So when do I have good time? <laughs> I thought I discovered this second Lopita's role, but it was wrong. But when I had this Hypothesis, this theory that oh my goodness, I discovered the second Lopita's rule, and it was wrong. Okay, but when I had that, that delusion, wrong theory that I thought it was right thing to do, I was happy, but it was a delusion. Okay, maybe it's like you, maybe yeah, yeah, I am just like you. Okay. Maybe you are so happy because you are your fucking faggot, as fucking faggot. You will suck out of the man's dick. Oh, are you a woman who is licking out of the woman's vagina? Maybe you thought, you think you discovered something new. Or maybe you got brand new tattoos and you, you thought, you think, you discover something new, brand new thing. <laughs> Maybe you're just like me, okay? <laughs> Rejoicing in this fucking stupid false delusion. I thought I discovered the second Lopita's rule, but I was wrong. Maybe you and I, we are the same thing, same people, same stupid motherfuckers, okay? I, I'm not better than you, I'm nobody special, I'm not fucking President fucking Trump or fucking President Obama or Pope fucking Francis or Justice fucking Kennedy or Justice stupid fucking Ginsburg, the whatever. I'm not dead. I didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> I didn't go to fucking Yale or Stanford, whatever. Okay? We all make mistakes, okay? So yeah, I'm not in a position to judge you. No, I don't judge you. Okay? I just have this theory which could be wrong. Just my, just like my second Lopita's theorem. <laughs> See, I'm taking advantage of my mistake. I'm taking advantage of my mistake. I'm taking some kind of leverage of the, of my mistakes. Okay, so learn from that. Okay, so shh. Secret, public secret. Okay. If you know what I'm saying, if you get what I'm getting at, good for, good for you, okay? If you understand my accent, good for you, all right? <sighs> See, I'm taking advantage of my mistakes, okay? So, I'm just like you, okay? So, I, I make mistakes, okay? But, 
We all do, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> we have like eight minutes, seven minutes left here, all right? So, uh, okay, so Jesus said, let's complete this method, this ethics, morality that even Son of God, Jesus couldn't quite complete, okay? All right, so. There is this person that they, my my boss, mafia or CIA, they want me to kill this person. It's a very difficult thing for me to do because I don't want to kill this person. No. But Jesus says, yes, yeah, you got to kill this person. I'm Mr. Jesus. You know, I said, as a son of God. You have to do what's difficult thing to do. You have to do what's difficult and very hard thing to do. Yeah. So, yeah, kill this person. Why? Because I'm Jesus. Obey me. And I say, fuck you, asshole. I'm not going to kill this person. No. Yeah, it's difficult for me to kill this person. But And you, Mr. Jesus, told me to do something very difficult thing to do for me. Fuck you asshole, Mr. Fucking Jesus, Mr. Fucking Son of Fucking God. I hate God and I hate you. I don't like you, Mr. Jesus. I hate God. I don't like God. He created Satan. You, Mr. Fucking Jesus, you're Son of God. You're the Prince. You grow up in this palace. You don't know how it is for us human beings. What it takes to survive. Because you have the superpower, Mr. Jesus. You didn't have to go to medical school. But you still were able to resurrect. A dead person to life. I believe that you did resurrect Lazarus. I believe that. But you didn't have to take you didn't have to take the pain of going to medical school, take MCAT, study all this human anatomy, physiology, pharmacology. You didn't have to take that all those classes. Just because you are the motherfucking son of God. You got it all handed out to you, Mr. Fucking Jesus. You got it all for free, without any labor or studying that we, Homo sapiens, had to do. And you claim that you are better than us because you are you're just born with a silver spoon as the son of God. Huh? Fuck you asshole. And fuck your fucking father too. Fuck God, fuck Jesus. Motherfuckers. You take us as what? Pawns you laugh at us. You accuse us for sinners. You accuse us as sinners. You send us to fucking hell. I just I have to disagree with you and your father. I disagree. I object. I oppose. Okay? Okay, let's get back down to earth, okay? President Trump, you vote for fucking President Trump just because what? He was born rich, born with a silver spoon. Ah, come on. <laughs> if you have three, five, th three, four hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, whatever, 
Yeah, people voted for Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. He was a self-made man. He was born poor. Even a decade ago, President Barack Obama, yeah, he was born poor. Single mother, okay? But President Trump, he, he was born with a silver spoon. He's not like you. He's not poor, poor guy. He's a rich man. Okay? You rather vote for President Trump just because he's famous, powerful, and rich. And you don't vote for me because I'm poor. I'm Asian. I'm nobody. Underdog. Paper, push, paper pusher in Alaska. What does that say about you? Have you ever thought about that? You want, you just want to what, vote for somebody who is rich, powerful, established, established, rich, powerful, famous, and established. So you just vote for what incumbent President fucking Trump, who led his two daughters, two blonde white daughters, very beautiful white daughters. Who let them, who pay for their plastic breast surgeries? Who let his two white blonde daughters marry ethnic, lustful men? Jewish motherfuckers, Jared Kushner and the other guy. Who hire this Jewish motherfucker, ethnic man? who married the, beautiful, the most beautiful white blonde girl in Manhattan, New York, New York, as a secretary of treasury. You're gonna vote for him again in 2020? Well, it's up to you. Or you can vote for me, okay? Okay, three hours is up. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye. God bless America.